We're back at it again, boys! Oh, not again, but I feel like I've done a lot of room cleaning videos, but today it's gonna be a little bit different. So I'm actually going to <laughs> declutter a lot of my makeup. So this is all of my stuff in my project pan. If you haven't seen any of my project pan videos, I should have a playlist on my channel. But these are all the products that I'm trying to finish up. I have my brushes that I use every day here. I've got some palettes just stacked. So I've got like my project pan, like stuff I've depotted from palettes in here. And I've got some random ones in here. I My goal is to kind of fill this palette a bit more. But I'll see how I go. I've got like this big ass Morphe palette, which I don't know where to ever put. I've got the chocolate bar, which is in my current project pan, and this new eyeshadow palette from an Australian brand called Harper Cosmetics that I am going to try out. I've also got this basket with all new stuff that I'm trying out, and I have another basket here with new stuff that I'm trying out. And no, not sponsored or anything, I just love makeup and I like trying new things. <laughs> so, um, yeah, a lot of them are like for videos that I'm filming. And then we've got this bad boy, oh hello, this bad boy, so what I've got, here I've got my perfume collection, I've got my gua sha, I don't know how to say that, gua sha, gua sha, don't come at me, <laughs> men's cologne, because I love <laughs> the smell of men's cologne, Olympia, I've got my deodorant, so like, it's not really well organised, I've got this function of Shrek, Gucci Flora, some Kmart, body mist, amazing grey, just the perfumes I reach for every day. If you don't know, I used to have a massive perfume collection, probably over like 30 perfumes. Now I'm down to 15. Um, I've got my mirror here. This is the best. I got it from Kmart. <laughs> it magnifies. Yeah, it's great. I use it all the time, even though I've surrounded by mirrors. In here, this isn't really well organized. I've got my favorite Marc Jacobs Decadence, but it's a really awkward bottle. I'll just show you. <laughs> it's like a purse. So I just have it in there and I only really wear it for special occasions. I've got my all-time favorite dry shampoo. This is the Acure dry shampoo for brunettes. It doesn't make my scalp itchy at all. I've got jewelry cleaner, deodorant, setting spray, setting spray, setting spray, setting spray, setting spray, setting spray. Okay. Now I know that that's what is in that box. I do definitely feel like I need to organize a lot of this stuff better. I have Ajax because I was cleaning. Oops. I was cleaning the other day. <laughs> I tell everyone how much I love this. It's the vanilla and berries divine blends and it smells so good. But I don't think Ajax is good for you because every time I spray it, my lungs hurt. I don't think that's meant to happen. I've got this. Oh my god, like this does not belong here. It's like just a brush holder. I'm just gonna shove it in this drawer. I've got this caddy. Um, it's not well organized. I've got a hair turban and another hair turban. I've got these boxes are solely for recycling that I haven't taken out. That's how lazy I am. I've got more brushes, hairbrush, and just random products. Like these do not belong in here. I've got primers, a bronzer, a setting spray. Yes, I'm like, got a thing with setting sprays. And then I have all these palettes, which at the moment it's kind of working. Like I like to see what I've got here, but at the moment I'm not really using many of them because of Project Pan. So I'm gonna take this caddy away and I'll show you guys here. So I've got this organizer. It's got my MAC lipsticks and um, my Pat McGrath lipsticks, everything else. I'll take this out and just show you guys. So I've got two Huda Beauty palettes a tart one that just fits well there and two color pops. I've got these liquid lipsticks that I have had for years that I need to see if they're still any good because it's kind of looking nasty at the moment. A random lip gloss and a tartist like contour palette. Back here I've got more palettes. Um, I have a thing for palettes. It's really annoying. <laughs> I've got like Anastasia, I've got some I've got Natasha Denona, Astralis, everything. I'll show you guys later. I'm just doing a little debrief, which is not really dark brief. So I've got more palettes in here, more palettes there, 
some in this box and the way it's set out it's not the best but it works here I've got a lot of lip balms I've got face products so foundations sunscreens anything that comes in a tube I've just kind of shoved in there um, and these bamboo organizers I actually got these from the reject shop they also sell them at Kmart they're really good so this is kind of my foundation box and it kind of works for me at the moment you see I've got another setting spray maybe I'll put that up in there I've got like face powder I've got foundations 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 a lot of these I haven't even tried and a lot of them were just for videos so there are some empty spaces I feel like I can fill those out a bit more I have this candle that I fully burnt and I decided to put my fake lashes in there so I might better organize that and then I've got brush collection by um we don't speak of him oh <sighs> I'm getting out of breath <laughs> this is my top drawer so at the moment it's pretty unorganized i've got face wipes i have this little slim drawer organizer a lot of these i got from the reject shop so at the moment hairbrush i have all my mascaras here i need to test some of them because some of them might be a bit old i have this inglot palette that i recently got haven't tried out yet I have all my concealers here i go through concealers the most concealers and powders so it doesn't really concern me that there's this many but to some of you it might look like a lot and then underneath i've got more of these so straight off the bat i could literally grab these tube products and i could put them in here for now great organization so i have a golf ball from holy moly that i stole wally so that probably it's not a good thing to admit but i was drunk so that justifies everything Alright, so here I've got a lot of powders. I've got blushes, I've got bronzers, I've got highlighters, I've got loose powders, I've just anything powder, you name it. And then I've got this like little container which has all my NARS minis as well as like a little Becca mini and it's just cute but it's probably not the best way to organise it. Back here I've got more powders which I can't fit in there anymore. And I've just got random things like um, the Stila liquid eyeshadow powders and stuff. If I take this container out we've got all my lip products and you guys may not know me but I don't really wear lip products so why do I have so many? I'm not really into liquid lips anymore, I'm more into glosses. This one looks kind of like empty. <laughs> but yeah, I'm more into like a blotted lip look, so I don't really go full out liquid lips. So a lot of this I could probably declutter. Now it's jammed. I've got a random MAC contour kit, which I actually forgot I owned. All my brow products, and it doesn't really fill out the drawer too much. I've got like a glitter primer, and then here I've got more eyeshadow products so this should actually belong in there but it doesn't fit i've got like cream anything cream eyeshadow single eyeshadows or like mini yeah singles and like mini palettes are in there so there is kind of a system i did organize this probably last year but since then i need to do another cleanup that is gonna fall but I need to show you my second drawer. I started organizing this a few months ago. So I've got hair rollers, which I think these belong in the bathroom with all my hair products. So I'm gonna take these out. They're kind of jarring the drawer, so I'm gonna... Okay. What I have, I have a lot of backups of um, beauty blenders. I've got them, I've got the Natio ones. So they kind of just sit there. Um, I've chucked a few palettes in here. This is one that I've actually depotted and these are the shades I don't really use. So I'm not sure if I should keep them because the formula is pretty good. So I need to do something about that. I've got fake eyelashes I got from Wish a long time ago just to see if they're any good. Yeah, they're pretty good. So <laughs> I've got this palette that I did a review on and I actually love. This is something new I bought. Um, and I just chucked it in the drawer, but I've liked that one so far. I've got more, I've got like fake nails, lashes, razors. I don't know why I've got razors in here. Glitters that I haven't even opened. So I don't, I'm not sure if I should open them, if I should give them to someone. And here I've got all my glitters, which I barely make looks for. So I should really utilize them more. I've got glitter glue. I've got this little cute 
Hello Kitty storage container with all my fake lashes. I reuse my fake lashes and a lot of them are all old and janky so I really need to go through those. I've got my isopropyl rubbing alcohol which I use to press powders. This is a saviour and the spray is so much easier. A lot of my full face video items in here, so like when I did CoverGirl and Rimmel, um, I just haven't found a home for them. Same with Revlon. I've got lip glosses in here which I've been reaching for a lot and a few lipsticks. This looks really well organized. Um, I've got all my palettes and believe it or not I have this Natasha Denona one I have not even used and I've got two Marc Jacobs that I haven't used and I need to remember to use them. I've got a NYX palette, I've got W7 palettes, my Animal Crossing ones. I have a MAC palette, I haven't even used. So a lot of these I haven't even used, which is really bad. It says a lot. This CoverGirl face palette I love. The Revlon one was actually pretty good. But this Astralis palette, which I'm obsessed with. It's really cute. Have I used it? No. <laughs> Fenty Beauty eyeshadow palette I've actually used for a video and I love. Yeah, these are all the Kmart items. Um, I feel like using these, they're not, they're pretty bulky as a collection, but um, using them for like travel, because if I lose them, I'm not really that attached to them, but they're still pretty good products. I've got these Heartbreakers palettes. I um, have like a little collection of them, um, but the rest of them are like in my closet, which I'll show you. These are more fake lashes. I've got random setting spray, and yeah, then I've got this tin that I use for fake lashes too, a Rude Cosmetics palette, and a Sephora mirror. If I go into my bottom drawer, this is the junk drawer. I'm sure we all have one of these. So, got a hair turban, which are great. Got random packaging. I've got empty makeup bags, empty makeup bag, empty makeup bag. I use this as a makeup bag. And here I've got my Colossal Nail Polish collection. So I've got around 75 nail polishes. Yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> so if I take all of this out, also I got one of these from Sephora for free. It's actually pretty cool. It's like a travel bottle set and it doesn't look like it will be traveling anytime soon, but it's cool to know that I've got that. What have I got in here? I think I've got hair clips. Hold on, let me... Let me try this. See, so yeah, I've got hair ties and stuff in there, which I feel like I should bring to the bathroom. I've got a candle, woo, candle. I've got face masks galore. I've got a deodorant in here. I think I might've used this for travel. I definitely did because there's like a shampoo in here. I need to figure out what to do with that. And then I've got hair extensions that I bought last year so what i did i bought i bought these hair extensions off like ebay i got really cheap ones and surprisingly they match me like pretty well the only thing is i got them in a ridiculously long length thinking like oh i'm gonna have long hair um no, these are like ridiculously long like no one like everyone's gonna know that they're fake they are really thin and really ratty so i definitely will have to trim these as you can see they're really ratty i also have really fine hair so like when i clip them in it actually like gives me a headache but ugh. let's see they, they're a bit on the dark side i could have gone like lighter do i throw these out because i'm never gonna wear them they're not <laughs> they do not match. Maybe I'll use it for a video. It's like a fun video. I didn't spend too much on these extensions. I don't know. I could hold on to it for like a costume party or something because when I put the whole set in, it kind of looks like a Kmart brand Kim Kardashian. So, who knows? So I've got like two sets of these so they could be more thick and I never ended up really using them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I bought those and not like real human hair extensions because I hate the feeling. I hate the feeling so much, like just having stuff in your hair. And then I have this brush set, which I... So I don't know if I'm gonna keep them to give to someone. I honestly have enough makeup to do a giveaway. <laughs> but a lot of them I've like opened the packaging for, so it's probably not like hygienic. And we're in the middle of a panoramic, so yeah. I'm gonna leave it at that. That is my whole collection. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to prop my tripod up and do a speed run.
of decluttering and then I'll tell you guys what I ended up throwing out and what I ended up keeping sort of thing. I hope that I throw out quite a bit. I need to be a bit brutal because I just own too much and I'm never gonna have the time to go through every single product, um, especially with Project Pan. There's no way I'm gonna finish all these products in my lifetime. So that's what I'm gonna do. This might be a bit of a long video, so grab a cup of tea and enjoy. Okay, so I've got a few glosses in my liquid lip collection, so I might actually, what I'll do, I'm going to separate those into this container. I might apply, <laughs> I might apply some gloss right now. This is the Oh My Gloss, and it's pretty good. What I might also do, I'm going to put some minis into this as well, because I feel like they get a bit lost. And these Colourpop minis are <laughs> so good. Okay, this is super random, but I love this lip gloss and I'm pretty sure they don't make it anymore. And the formula looks like it's getting really old. It's the Hailey Baldwin lip gloss in Biz for Model Co. So I'm going to see if they still make this because I love it so much. Also, um, side note, is Hailey Baldwin related to Alec Baldwin? Am I stupid? Okay, I think that's pretty much sorted. I've also got a few lipsticks that were in there, so I'm going to separate them and then keep this solely liquid. Now I'm going to, um, fuck, this might be a two-parter. I'm going to see, like, test each formula probably on my hand. I'm probably going to regret that, but yeah. I just want to see, like, on my hand, like, my collection. This kind of smells bad, but I just bought it, but it could be old. That's a gloss. Not do not do, you belong in here. Um, 21 lip colors that are liquid lips and then I've got I've got my color pops now these are freaking old so I'm gonna see if they're any good um just giving them a little whiff and a swatch I might just pop it back there for now Okay, let's tally that up. So, so 27 liquid lips. This one has a weird smell. It's one of the metallics in Man Eater. She's a man eater, make her work hard. I'm gonna throw that out because it smells and I've also got another metallic by Anastasia if I really wanted that formula. But the other metallic, the red one, smells fine. And then I've got this one. <laughs> 
I can't believe I'm doing this. It's my beloved Times Square. I think it's, yeah. The formula's a bit sticky and for good reason because I've used a lot of this. You can't tell, but all-time favorite. But Times Square, that one's the closest. I don't remember what that one is. I think it was the Anastasia. But yeah, I might... Let go of these two. Now for the gloss draw, I have a few mini lipsticks that I'm gonna go through, such as these ColourPop ones. Now I noticed some of the formulas aren't drying, so I'm not sure if that means that they're old. I'm definitely gonna get rid of this Revlon one. I just bought it for a video, but it smells pretty bad and it's not, um, it's not drying, as you see, I accidentally knocked myself there. And it's a bit of a bold colour, but um, I've also got this one, which is really similar. And that's the Colourpop in Avenue. I've got these Bite lipsticks, so I haven't really tried out. They're really cute. Oh, that one's so pretty. My all-time favourite formula is definitely the Steeler. I'm kind of kicking myself that I don't do more of a red lip. I also have these lippy sticks. See, these formulas are fine because I feel like lipsticks last longer, the creaminess lasts longer compared to, like, liquid lips. This is definitely one of the most unique products I've got. It's the Lip Bling by Tarte, and it is the most gloopiest and shiniest lip gloss, but I always get compliments on it. Oh, that's a really nice lipstick. Could definitely put that in a project pan. Got my mini cap on D's. I've got it like not many reds, but all my reds are the same <laughs> exact color. I don't remember which one this is, but it's like, is that a gloss lip paint lacquer? Oh, okay, makes sense. These are new from what I remember. Yep. I might contradict myself and I'm just gonna put the mini liquids in there so I know that that's where they are. Oh, actually, no, 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 no. I forgot to show you guys. I've got this compartment up there with all my minis, so I might put that with those. I've seen quite a few of people use liquid lips as like a blush, but I don't know how they do it because like that's stained. So one of my new favourites, it's this Sugar Coat in Cake Pop by Tarte. It's like the NYX Matte Lip Cream. I really like those kinds of formulas where it's not drying. I should have really kept track of what colours I swatched because maybe I don't like some of them. <laughs> okay, so I might make this a part series because I still need to do my upper cabinet which has more liquid lips in it. <laughs> so let's just count again. 39. Yeah, I do have more um, in my upper cabinet, but I'm going to save that for another video. These are all my glosses. I've got this CoverGirl like balm. Yeah, it's pretty cool to see like my collection on my hand. Um, I feel like I should probably get rid of a few. These ones are patchy, but I can't remember which ones they were. I dare say, I think it was this one. That's the thing, sometimes I swatch a bit patchy, but then I just tried it on my lips. And it looks fine. So, eh, I'm bad at this. There was one Anastasia that was like, really ashy. I think it was this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going out like this. Okay, I'm definitely throwing that out. <laughs> the most unflattering color. So yeah, it was like this one. I wonder if there's any similar. No. The reason that exists in my collection is because I bought it in a set. I would never buy that color. This one gives off similar vibes. <laughs> oh, but it's it's more pink. Might keep it. It looks so cool. I was gonna do it with a wipe, but now I think I should probably just get some oil to take it off because that'll be much easier, so I'll be back. I'm also gonna throw out this CoverGirl lipstick that I used in my full face of CoverGirl. The reason for that being is it glues your lips together, so that one's gone. I also feel like I approached this wrong because I really should have just swatched it on my lips. Oh, and the reason I knew I was going to throw it out is because it does not come off. It's 
I scrubbed my hand and oh no. Oh blimey. What I might do, I'll apply gloss and hopefully that gets it off. It is the stickiest thing. It definitely a sign to throw that out. Sucks because it's such a beautiful colour. Okay, that kind of worked. It reminds me of like when you use permanent marker on a whiteboard and you use a whiteboard marker to rub it off. Um, yeah. I look a bit like a mess. I'm gonna cut this video short here so that I can split it up into more parts. I do apologize if it's a bit too lengthy for your liking, but when you watch these videos, just grab a cup of tea and enjoy the clicking, clattery sounds of my drawers. I'd just like to thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for my next declutter. Bye!